Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited because I finally have found a dupe for the now discontinued Crave Beat the Sun, also known as the Beat Shield sunscreen. Ever since Crave withdrew that product from market and discontinued its manufacture, as it failed to live up to and deliver the SPF that the brand claimed, it's left a lot of people with a gap in their skincare routine, wanting to find that gorgeous, lightweight, elegant SPF of 50 plus that also has some built-in antioxidant protection and zero white cast. It almost seems too good to be true and like we're asking for too much but do not worry because I've actually found a like-for-like -like dupe for this product that I think honestly everyone could benefit from including in their own skincare routine. Unlike Crave it is tried, tested and independently verified and delivering in excess of that SPF 50 plus. So sit back, relax and keep watching if you want to find out a little bit more. Now, I know so many people that were disappointed when Crave um, announced they were discontinuing this product and withdrawing it from market. I think the disappointment was multifold. First of all, that we were using a product that wasn't delivering the SPF that the brand claimed. That left a lot of people annoyed that honestly, we've been relying on a product for a specific SPF value and we hadn't actually been getting that for our own skin concerns. A lot of people were also disappointed that Crave never actually revealed the true SPF value of what that product was. I do think this is disappointing and kind of lacking in transparency. I understand some of the reasons behind that but again it just makes it difficult for people to reconcile themselves to the brand because they don't know what SPF they were actually using on their own skin and um, which is just further that disappointment. But finally I think a lot most significantly for a lot of people they were disappointed because this is one of the few products they'd reached for that gave that guaranteed or what they thought was guaranteed protection with built-in antioxidants that didn't leave a thick white cast on the skin spread beautifully. It felt great to use and also combined it mattifying elements also with hydration so it didn't strip and dry the skin but didn't leave you feeling like an oil slick by midday. A lot of people relied on this product and until now I don't think there's been a real like for like dupe that's tried, tested and independently verified. I said until now because I recently stumbled across some new Korean SPF testing and it revealed quite a few brands have now passed their testing. I think this is huge and I think this is a really nice way of turning the corner and taking what has been quite a negative experience over the last 18 months, turn that on its head and actually celebrating some of the benefits and the positivity coming out of the market. Korea now leads the way in transparency with so many brands presenting with pride their SPF verification, their third party testing to say, you can trust our brand because we've released the testing, we have nothing to hide, here is the data. And honestly, I think it's about time that Western brands also started doing this so we can really trust the products that we're reaching for for our daily sun defense. In and amongst this new Korean testing was a brand called Haiji. Haiji, Haiji. I'm never sure how to actually pronounce that. So if you do know, leave me a comment below. This is a brand which unfortunately did fail testing on its original sun care products, but they withdrew that from market, took time to reformulate some new products and delivered it with the open data so we can check and know that the product that they're delivering now does live up to the SPF claims that they're making. They released two sun care products, but I'm going to focus down on one, which I think is actually the best or one of the best that's on the market. This is the High G Vegan Sun Cream. This is an almost like for like dupe of the Crave Beat the Sun, but with that verified third party testing to back it up so you know you're getting the right level of SPF protection. This product combines the exact five chemical filters used in the Crave Beat Shield, but in a higher concentration so you can guarantee that SPF is being delivered. The testing that they've shown demonstrates on average it reached an SPF value of 53, which is in excess of the 50 plus that they advertise, but it also has a really good level level of UVA protection again, measuring on the PA scale at 21. Whilst this isn't the highest on the market, this is relatively good for a Korean or an Asian sunscreen because Asian sunscreens generally are formulated with lower um, UVA protection because they're meant for day-to-day -day use, whereas European and North American sunscreens tend to have a higher level of protection because they're designed for use when we expose ourselves to higher levels of UV radiation on the beach or when we're on holiday. So it's a little bit of a different ethos from one um, area to the other, but PA value of 21 is pretty good by um, Asian sunscreen standards. In here, you have a stunning blend of ingredients. Not only do you have that guaranteed and verified SPF with a blend of five different chemical filters, you also have antioxidants, specifically beetroot extract. This is what a lot of people loved with the Crave Beet Shield. It harnessed the power of nature to deliver really great potent antioxidants that are just going to help the SPF to defend against free radicals and oxidative stresses. I love to use antioxidants alongside my sun care products because I just think it doubles down on the protection you're 
giving the skin. Whilst I usually reach for a separate antioxidant and then apply my sun cream over the top of it, if you can find a really good product that combines the two, then honestly, it's win, 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 ding, ding, ding. And I love the fact that they do this in this product. It's lightweight. There is zero white cast. It feels so good on the skin, blending that nice combination of hydrating and yet not grease inducing. So it's suitable for just about all skin types. It's available at a roughly similar price point to the Crave Beat Shield, which is why I'm happy to call it out as a dupe. There are some key differences in the formulation that I do want to call out. First and foremost, there are fewer antioxidants in the High G Vegan Sun Cream than what you got in the Crave Beat Shield. So I'd probably still recommend that you add an antioxidant into your skincare routine alongside that. I've done a whole video capturing the best antioxidants, which I'll link up there. So choose any one of those antioxidants and incorporate it alongside this, and you'll just maximize the skin's protection. In here, you do also have niacinamide, which isn't present in the Crave Beat Shield. This isn't problematic because it's quite low down on the ingredients list, so it's not going to be in a super high concentration, but it is something to call out if you are sensitive to um, niacinamide. Beyond that, they have a very similar ingredient list, and I honestly think give an almost like-for-like -like application. The Hygie Vegan Sun Cream is available at both Stylevana and Yes Style here in the West, which are two of my favorite places to shop Korean and Asian skincare. So I've left links to both of them below if you do want to check out this product, read the ingredients list for yourself, or see some of the reviews on it. Both are linked in the description box below, so you can check them out there. I am so, so glad that we finally turned a corner in terms of the Korean sunscreen scandal, and we're seeing a lot more data being produced, and brands have really been able to deliver the SPF that they're claiming. Recently, Recent data was also released on the Sun by My Sun Care range, which is fantastic. And that again was proven to be delivering the SPF protection that was needed. And I hope this is an emerging trend that we're going to see accelerate over the next couple of months so that we have so much more choice. I wanted to call out the Hygie Vegan Sun Cream specifically because I think it is a like for like dupe for the now discontinued Crave Beat Shield. It's also fantastic if you're living a vegan plant based lifestyle because this is a great option to have alongside some other great vegan sunscreens that do exist and hopefully it's kind of just brought back a little bit of positivity to the Korean sun care discussion that we know we can now rely where brands are fully transparent on the products that they're selling. I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings. Are you tempted by the Hygie product? Do you still miss the Crave Beat Shield? What's your overall thoughts and feelings? Leave them in the comments below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.